Luke is media. So the other day, LeBron scored 40,000 points and he has some interesting things to say. A reporter asked him, what would he tell his 18 year old self? And he pretty much was like, I'm paraphrasing, but he was just like, you know, nothing. And, you know, he had a great head on his shoulders. And of course he, you know, he thanked the groups of people that was in his life. But he said something that I actually disagree with. Now, w before I go in, let me be fair. LeBron did have a good head on his shoulders. Most 18-year-olds would have not been able to do that. I know I would have messed it up at some point. You know, he did it. He he had a great team around him from day one. So, you know, let's, let's give him credit where credit deserves. But he talked about people hating on him. And most people want to see him fail. You know, and I'm not one of these older guys. You know what I'm saying? Me and LeBron are basically the same age. We went to school together, you know, in the same time period. Let me say that. Let me get to LeBron. Everybody wanted to see you succeed, dude. Everybody. I remember going to Tamar because he's a couple years older than me, going into my freshman year. And people was talking about, man, this kid in Ohio, because, you know, we, I had people play against him. Man, they talked about he could be in the NBA and he's the number one player in the country. And I couldn't fathom that. I couldn't understand that. And... I remember going into his senior year, all the hype he had. and Dude, you was the first real player to have national televised games on ESPN before social media. And I don't remember nobody wanting you to fail. I actually remember people saying that it's unfair to put that kind of pressure on him because of the expectations people was giving. Like people were saying, oh, he's, he's next, he's next. Now, you did have a tattoo with the chosen one. But people was rooting for you. The NBA needed a new face. Michael Jordan was on his way out with the Washington Wizards. I mean, yeah, Kobe was there and and all of that. But they they wanted the next uh, the one up next as well. And people was rooting for you, Brian. No, and I watched Chris Ruzard and Rob Parker's take on him, and this is true Mo until. LeBron went to Miami. Most of his critics was just skip people like Skip Bayless. You know, Nike didn't want you to fail. They cut you that ninety that ninety million dollar check and was it upper deck and you had all these different endorsements coming out of high school. Now again, to be fair, you know, we we gonna be fair. You definitely lived up to those type of expectations. You you never got in trouble. All of that, right? But dude, most people wasn't hating for you to fail. Even the whole. The whole Hummer situation and when you got suspended for them jerseys, the entire country was in uproar about that. All that money they was making off you, people was was defending you. And you got it overturned. And when you went to the league, it was like everybody just wanted to see was you the next goods. But you didn't have the kind of envy that Alonzo Ball had. Or even Bronny. You know what I mean? Because people people knew and people wanted you to take the take the keys. You know, now people are criticized of you because you bounce back and forth and you control the media a lot of times. And, you know, uh, Russell Westbrook gets dragged through the mud. You don't come out and defend. Him. I'm just I'm just being honest. This is why people, you know. You skip Dwayne Wade's um, Hall of Fame and, you know, you, uh, you you talk about Bronny's one of the best could play in the NBA right now, could help us right now. Those are the kind of things that people don't like. You know, the flopping, all that flopping you was doing. But as far as you coming out of high school, man, everybody was rooting for you, man. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.